This is problem number four. The problem states that you have two vectors, 3i minus 2j and 2i plus 3j minus 2k that define a plane. And then they explain the plane. It is a plane of triangle of the triangle with both tails at one vertex and each head at one of the other vertices. Which of the following verte vectors is perpendicular to the plane? So you're taking two vectors and making and trying to find uh, and making a plane out of it and trying to find a vector that's perpendicular to that plane. Let's draw that out. So it doesn't matter really, we're just drawing it out to see what's going on. You have a vector that's around this way and a, rec a vector that's around this way. And so you're creating a plane with these vectors and you're looking to find a, a vector that's perpendicular to that plane. This drawing isn't that good but you just need to be able to see what's going on. You're creating a plane, drawing a vector that's perpendicular to it. An easy process to do that is when you take the cross product of these vectors. Because with cross product, you create a perpendicular vector to both of the vectors involved. You're going to see this later when you have to do it for things such as magnetism and physics too. So, how did, an easy way to take a, uh, to take a cross product it's, this is my method of doing it. You don't have to do it this way, but this is my method. So first off, it's a 3 by 3, I, J, K, okay? And then the, the first vector is 3, negative 2, 0. Then you have 2, 3, negative 2. Let me, write, let me write the vectors out for sure. You have 3, I, minus 2, J, and then you have 2i minus 3 plus 3j minus 2k. Translates into this. Okay? Now what you want to do after that is just take these two row these two columns and bring them over here. 3, negative 2, 2, 3. Okay? Now, what you're gonna do is take diagonals and you multiply them, okay? When you're going to the right, to the right is positive, to the left is negative. You'll see what I mean by that in a second. To the right, you multiply everything by positive one at the end. So i times negative two times negative two, that'll be four i. J, you have a zero here, so you just take out that whole row. There is no j. And you have k times three times three, that's positive 9k, because you multiply it by plus, plus 1. Now if you're going, not to the left, if you're going up, that's positive. If you're going down, if you're going, if you're going down, it's positive. If you're going up, it's negative. Sorry about that. Uh, this way, you multiply by negative 1, okay? So 2 times negative 2 times k, that will be negative 4k times negative 1, that's positive 4k. So positive 4k. And you have i, you have a 0 though, so there's nothing there. Then 2, negative 2 times 3 times j. That will be negative 6j times negative 1, so it will be positive 6j. Then you add this all together. So the final answer should be 4i, to make it, I'm going to bring this over here to make it the correct format, plus 6j, plus 13k, and that is your final answer, okay? That's an easy way to do cross product, you just have to remember that if you're going down is positive, if you're going up is negative, and then you add them all together, okay? Down positive, up negative.